Hello and welcome to MATLAB programming for numerical computations. We are in module 8. In this module, we are covering practical aspects of solving ordinary differential equations initial value problems. Specifically, we have been looking at odd ODEs with multiple variables. In both the lectures, we had higher order ODEs initial value problems which were converted into a set of first order ODEs. In today's lecture, what we are going to cover is how we can convert partial differential equations which are partial differential equation in time and space into ordinary differential equations in time using a method called method of lines. So this was an example which we had covered in lecture 4.5. In lecture 4.5, we had covered this in context of tridiagonal matrix algorithm. In that case, we had considered a steady state solution in which dt by dt was equal to 0. However, in case of transients, the model is going to look like this. So consider that we have a rod which is 1 meter long. Let's say that the rod initially is at the room temperature which is 25 degrees Celsius. At time 0, we start heating one end of the rod and maintain that end at 100 degrees Celsius. The other end is maintained at room temperature of 25 degrees Celsius. In addition to this, the rod is also heat losing heat to the surroundings. The heat loss is based on this particular term. The heat conduction is based on this term and overall the transients, how the temperature goes from 25 degrees Celsius uniformly in the rod to the final temperature profile with 100 degrees at one end and 25 degrees at another end is defined by this partial differential equation. Now how to solve this partial differential equation? One way to solve this is what is known as method of lines. As we had done in lecture 4.5, in method of lines what we are going to do is use central difference formula for differentiating in space we leave the differential part in time as it is. So let's say we are going to take that rod which is 1 meter long and divide it into 10 intervals. We are going to have temperature going from that initial point of 100 to the final point of 25 in some way. The central difference formula will result in at any point i d square t by dx square is written in this form. If the 1 meter rod is divided into 10 zones, our delta x is going to be equal to 1 by 10. If we have 10 zones or 10 intervals, we will have 11 nodal points. The first one is uh, t equal to 100. The last one is going to be t equal to 25 and for all the middle points from t2 to t10 we are going to have the equation this particular equation satisfied once we substitute this guy over here when we do that the method of lines is going to yield us dt by dt equal to this equation for all the center points and t1 equal to 100 and t t n plus 1 equal to 25 at the two endpoints. Now what is changing with time is t i from t 2 to t n. So what we are going to do is define the solution vector y as t 2, t 3, t 4 and so on up to t, t n. We don't need to solve for t 1 or t n plus 1 because those values are already known to us. So let's go into MATLAB and try to do this problem. Okay. Edit. Let's call this rod conduction rod con or rod conduct and function. Okay. As we have always been doing this f val equal to file name rod conduct t comma y. Okay getting temperatures t1 is going to be equal to 100 we know that okay we also need to find out what n value is so n is going to be nothing but length of y 
plus 1. Why is that so? Because y goes from 2 to n. Okay, So, the length of y is n minus 1 and therefore n is going to be equal to length of y plus 1. t 2 to n is going to be equal to y and t n plus 1 is going to be equal to 25. That ambient temperature parameters ambient temperature T A is 25 and T N plus 1 we will replace this as T A. So now we have our temperature matrix sorry the temperature vector that is completely defined. Okay, Let's define D T by D T. Okay, D T D T is going to be equal to let's say zeros n plus 1 comma 1 okay so dt by dt we are going to again define for all of the t's however there is no way to define dt1 by dt and dt n plus 1 by dt so we are going to initially make make all of this but eventually we are going to discard dt1 and dt n plus 1 Okay, so we'll we'll do that in a bit. Okay, we also need to define various other parameters. The other parameters that we need to define are alpha equal to 0 0.025, alpha equal to 0 0.025, and beta equal to 0 0.1. We also need to get the step size h or delta x. Okay. If n is the number of intervals, the step size is length divided by n, 1 by n. Why? Because the length of the rod is 1 meters. Okay. So now we have, we have to do the final part and that is to define dt by dt and hence to define fval. Okay. From i equal to 2 to n. So that's what we will write. So for i equal to 2 to n dt dt i is going to be equal to alpha multiplied by this guy the central difference formula so alpha divided by h squared multiplied by ti plus 1 i plus 1 minus 2 times ti plus t i i minus 1 okay so that's the first part that's alpha divided by h squared multiplied by ti plus 1 minus 2 ti plus ti minus 1 minus beta multiplied by something so we'll write that part also minus beta multiplied by ti minus ta okay beta multiplied by ti minus ta we also need to define alpha and beta which we have done already we also need to define h that also has been done already okay so that should complete our definition of dt by dt finally we want to extract f val from dt by dt and to do that we will say f val is going to be equal to dt dt from 2 n okay and that's our f val and think we are done over here let us save this okay in order to run this run rod problem we'll create a script to run transient heat conduction in a rod okay let's say the number of uh, intervals was 10 okay our initial uh, values are going to be t1 equal to 100 t from 2 to n equal to 25 and tn plus 1 equal to 25 we also need to ensure that this is a column vector so let's write this as 
t1 comma 1 t2 to n comma 1 and t n plus 1 comma 1 okay let's call t span as 0 to 20 okay and t sol comma capital t sol solutions is going to be ode 45 at t comma y and rod conduct t comma y i think we should just put a space over here we have t span and our t naught let me just write this also as t naught to ensure that we know that this means our initial condition plotting results so what we want to do is plot let's plot t sol and y sol there are going to be nine lines over here but that is actually fine no problem we'll we'll just do that so while our t naught goes from 1 to n plus 1 our y naught actually should go from t 2 to n that was what our definition was and this is the change that we need to make okay and plotting our result is going to be this okay so let's run this and we get an undefined variable and that's because the variable name that we have used over here we have used that t naught so this also should be changed to t naught so let's save this and run this okay so the the point that is closest to the hot end has reaches a temperature of ab around 85 degrees celsius after 20 minutes the second point reaches a temperature of about 75 degrees celsius some 62 degrees celsius so on and so forth so this is the point closer to the hot end and this is the point closer to the cold end so this is how the temperature varies from the initial value of 25 degrees celsius to the final steady state value okay so what we have done over here is to use method of lines to convert a partial differential equation with transients into an ordinary differential equation in time and we have used ODE 45 to solve the resulting ordinary differential equations. Finally, what I'm going to show over here is the power of ODE 45. So let's say instead of 10 intervals, if we were to divide the overall domain in 100 intervals, let's just plot plot everything let's say we want to plot the middle middle point okay so let's just do that or midpoint let me just say n by 2 yeah and let me just run this okay it does take a little bit of time in order to solve but finally it has solved a problem and you will see this is how the temperature varies at the middle of the rod if we want to check how the temperature varies at closer to the hold on okay so we want to check how the temperature varies closer to the hot end of the rod and we also want to see how it varies closer to the cold end of the rod okay so we are go going to plot these multiple lines and let us see okay so this is how the temperature is varying closer to the hot end of the rod and this is how the temperature varies closer to the cold end of the rod so with that we finish this example of using method of lines to solve partial differential equation and indeed we come to the end of lecture 8.3 what we have done in this lecture is taken a partial differential equation and converted it into a series of ordinary differential equations and solved the resulting ordinary differential equations using ode 45 
we also showed that the ODE45 is a fairly versatile method and has the ability to solve a really large set of ODEs. With that, I come to end of lecture 8.3 and I will see you in the next lecture. Thanks and bye.